Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 15th of 2023. Well, it is titled M1, the incredible expanding crab. So what do we see here? Well, this is known the object known by the catalog designation M1 and also by the common name of the Crab Nebula. And it's actually a supernova remnant and in fact a star that was seen to explode here on Earth back in the year 1054, nearly a thousand years ago. And since that time it has been expanding outward and getting larger and larger. And so what are we looking at? We're going to actually see two different images here. First, we see an image taken by Hubble back in 2005. And then another image up for taken by the James Webb Space Telescope in 2023. So 18 years apart. And we can see the difference between these two and how things have expanded. Now let's look back and forth between them. Now if you look at the stars, you'll note that the stars stay in the same spot. There are some stars visible in the web image that are not visible in the Hubble image and that's because it's looking at infrared. So a lot of very faint stars may not be visible in it. Uh, plus the Webb telescope is a little bit more powerful and better at picking up fainter stars. But since the stars are in exactly the same position, we know that the scale is the same. And if you look at uh, different features across the nebula, you can see how in the Hubble image they have moved over time and they've moved outward. So over just 18 years, we can see a very significant difference in how this material has been continued to expand. And that process will continue. If we could take another picture 20 or 30 years from now, we would see the nebula expanding even more. So the expansion continues, and that is because it was a massive explosion of a star at the end of its life that became unstable and essentially ripped itself apart. And that material is then expanding outward at very high speeds. But yes, we can see those knots of material and see how they are continuing to expand today. And eventually that material will become part of the interstellar medium and will form begin to form new stars. So if we come back in many 100 million years or so, or maybe even more, this material will have become dispersed throughout space and we will never see the nebula again. However, it will combine with other clouds of material and that will then form new stars, which form from the enriched material that was part of this supernova, all of the heavier elements and to an astronomer that's everything other than hydrogen or helium was formed and expelled out into space for the most part through explosions like this certain types of supernovae or colliding stars that form all the elements that we see here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for November 15th of 2023. It was titled M1 the incredible expanding crab. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. Preview to be daytime moon morning star. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.